Hi everyone, it's Lana from Living Wildly Free and in today's video we are going to be planning the week of December 27th to January 2 in my wellness planner. So if that is something you'd like to see, keep watching. Okay, so for this spread, I was thinking of using the abstract watercolor. So why don't we go ahead and get started? Let me take these pages off of my planner and place them down. All right, so to be honest, I haven't used a wellness planner in maybe six months or so. And I, th I think it was because during the, during one of the Happy Planner releases, I decided to change things up and see if I could use another layout. I can't remember what I was using. It didn't work out well for me. And so when this release came out, I was like, oh my gosh, fantastic. They have a wellness planner, but even better than that, the wellness planner spreads were nice and neutral. It's, there's barely any color on it. The only color is this very light, minimal gray, which I thought was perfect. I can get back into my wellness planning. So I'm super excited to get this started. Now, I do realize that this abstract watercolor is from the recovery range. And um, even though a lot of the quotes here, like this one, recovery is hard, regret is harder. You know, it, it doesn't, um, it doesn't quite suit my needs, but you can't help that this sticker book is just so pretty and and I got it because not every sticker is you know connected to recovery there are a lot of other stickers in here that work very well and I'll be able to use and plus it's just so so pretty so I couldn't resist getting it now I set up my wellness planner maybe a little bit different from a lot of you I, it just it seems to work well with me so <laughs> bear with me because it's also it's been quite a while since I've done a wellness plan but what I tend to do like most of my other planners or my other spreads is I do like to choose that one one sticker that really kind of sets the theme for the rest of the spread and so that is what we are going to look for I mean and plus I do love the layout of a lot of these stickers it's just it's so nice and different and the colors I really do love the colors all right, so I need to maybe stop talking and start looking for a sticker. Now, a lot of these boxes here have prompts on top, so I'm just trying to see if there's anything. Oh, well, this one might be nice. It says, what is one way you'd like to grow this year? And that might actually be nice because it is, um, this week does have the beginning of January. So it's almost like setting your intentions for the new year. So I think I do like that. I just want to see if there's anything else. How can you add happiness into your daily life? What brings you peace and why? List three things you can do to enhance your mental well-being. I think I do like that big sticker. And one second, I'll be back. My mother is calling. Okay, sorry about that. 
that was my mother calling, but let's get back into this. So, if I can remember what we were doing. Yes. So, I do like this sticker. I know we were looking at the rest of this book. And so what I'm thinking is, because this is a very plain sticker, so I was considering maybe putting some of these or trying to look for something to kind of spice up the sticker, especially because it is dark. So, I'm just trying to decide what to use. before I place it down. What if we did something like that and I cut it on a diagonal so that I could have, yeah, let's do that. Let's just see, was there, because if I cut it on a diagonal, I could have both edges on the corners. So the question is, do I want it big or do I want it small? I could even use these ones. You know what, let's use a big one because it is the new year. And, which means we could do a little bit of celebrating. I think I wanna go with this. All right. So let me, ooh, I did not realize that. Okay, so what I'm thinking is, I'm going to place that sticker there first. And maybe I should be cutting this. Only because I, I don't want to lose the shape too much. Actually, you know what? Okay. We will just go for it. I probably could have done a better job at that, but since I cut it already, <laughs> we will just have to go with what I did. I know there was probably a better way to cut that. We will figure it out once we get the stickers on. So I do want it a little off center and all right hopefully that is straight you know what it will be probably better if i just put this down first right instead of making my life crazy. Okay, there, so now that's down. I do have, see, I did not quite cut it the way I would have wanted to, but I don't know if it's noticeable enough to be bothered. 
but I think what we can do is let's see I know there are a few more pieces that I might be able to use like I could probably use some of this just to cover up those little areas let's grab one of these because then I can just cut it in a way that it looks like they were really meant to be two different types of stickers. Maybe let's put this one here. There, see it doesn't look like it was cut strangely. There we go, see? So you don't see that hard edge of that strange cut. And let's choose maybe this yellow. Well, it's not really yellow. It's more a bit of a mustard type color. And we'll do this one lengthwise. And I will just round off the edges. So it's a little bit of a sticker surgery. Now let's place this one. I know it shouldn't be such a big deal, but when I begin to use this, I'm going to see it. So, there we go. I think that works out fine. Okay, so we have our first sticker down. It may have taken a bit of time, but it's down. Now, let's see what else this sticker book has. I do like this, but it's too big to fit here. So we will save that sticker for something else. I could have used these. But let's see. So I'm just looking at what these are saying. I do kind of like this. So let me just keep that. This is cute. Take it, a, take it day by day. And I think that will fit nicely here although it will come out. I can put it at the top. So I'll just hold on to that. I will also pull this up. We're all a work in progress. Just to add a bit of color. This has breathe and unplug. We do have these boxes. I don't have any gold, so maybe we'll save the gold boxes. Hmm. 
So this says, note to self, the plan, such a good day. And then don't forget all the things, busy day. And we do have the bullet or the checklist. We have lots of these washies. What am I looking for? I'm, ki I'm looking for a box to go with this. And I think that is a cute box. For some reason, I thought this book had more boxes, but I guess I am wrong, which is a shame because I, I wish it had more boxes. All right. All right, and this, what am I gonna do with this? Let's just place it right here on top. That way it's not covering too much. Is that straight? Ah, oh, I know. I don't need to be that picky about it. I can't help it. All right, that should work. Let me go ahead and cut that off. So we're almost done because I don't really put a lot on here. Really, I just write a lot of things, but let's look and see what other small pieces they have in this book. I could use a washi, but don't know if it's really necessary. What I'm thinking is those small, circles that we saw where did they go they were just there these ones I'm going to grab this and here's the gold it, we have gold is there I took the non-gold one. So now the question is, do we want to add gold into the spread or leave it? Ooh, okay, there's... So basically that sticker says, believe in yourself. But they have it in the navy blue, the dark blue. And I was thinking... that maybe we could do a little bit more layering. I can just, I was hoping to do it the opposite way. Have this be the dark color and then this be the light one. But because I wanted that sticker, because I think it works well with we're all a work in progress and then believe in yourself. I thought it worked great. I could use, you know what, let's just stick with this. No, I don't like it. It's, it's not quite what I wanted. Let's try this one. No. All right. It's 
such a shame. You know what? Let's let's just go back and grab it and make it work. We'll make it work either way. See, it looks a little strange. Doesn't it? That color is just not doing it. So maybe It's just too dark. It doesn't stand out the way I was hoping it would. But we'll leave it for now. Unless I can find something better to work with. Or maybe just layering it, layering it was not such a great idea. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I think I am going to take it out. And... We'll just put this right here in the corner. Or right there. And then I almost want to add gold now because we have all of these really cute strips in foil. So I almost want to use it, and plus we have this. So I am thinking, hmm, well, actually, or am I just going a little bit? I don't know. I think that that telephone call interrupted my train of thought with getting this done. So I apologize for that. Sometimes you get stuck on a spread and don't really know what to do. <laughs> So the question is, I, ha I think I have my center done. I'm just wondering, maybe I wanna add something down here and we can be done with this spread. Because sometimes I feel that when I force it, it just turns into a strange, strange thing. So, We have these washies. I'm thinking to go with the spread. I don't know, I'm kind of drawn to this. And it's a little bit or am I just forcing the issue at this point? Which might actually be something, but I do feel like we're missing, like there just needs to be something else.
you guys ever feel this way? When it's a new sticker book and you still haven't gotten the handle on how you want to set it up, it kind of just throws you off beat a little bit. That's how I'm feeling right now. Is that I love these stickers. It's just that I haven't quite figured out how to use them completely. So this is probably a much longer video than it should be. So I apologize for that. Why don't, do I want to do that? All right, so what I'm thinking is, obviously I, before I could tell you, my mind or my hands decide we're not gonna do it. So, let's do this instead. I saw these almost corner strips and it's cute because it's rounded off at the edge. So I'm thinking that maybe we can just add this here. I can get it aligned to the way I want it to be. There, so we have one there. Now because this is a straight edge, let's go over here because I did see this and we can place this Does that seem strange? I feel like that seems a little bit strange. What do you guys think? I mean, it's kind of cute. It just feels like there's this big empty space in between them. So maybe Let's fill it in by grabbing this and we'll just cut it in half. Well, somewhat half. And I know it eats up some of my writing room but it's okay. All right, so it seems like there's something happening down here. No. It's a very different kind of spread. I don't usually set it up this way. But now I'm really tempted to use these gold strips. Well, let's see. Where is my tweezers? I hope that's straight. All right, see, I feel like it just adds that little extra something. So I think we will add.
So these strips are actually interesting because they are on translucent. It's almost like this, this gold foil is, it's translucent so you can see through the cutout, but it feels different from the typical foil that they use. And they seem to mark up a little bit easier, if that makes sense. Okay, so that just fills up. I know that's not straight, but I don't... Well, let's see. All right, so see that just fills up that area and maybe I'll put one more just here. And let's do this one, life is a gift. My goodness. So I'm choosing not to use my tweezers only because it created little dents in the sticker. I may have to layer this a little bit. Oh. Don't know if I like that. I guess we will just put it straight across. Yeah, so my tweezers created little dents here, which is why I'm not using it. Let's do this, because that looks a little strange. In there. All right, so I think, I think we're good. I think I should just leave it alone at this point. I feel like we've filled up some space. Um, I don't think I need to add anything else. I'm just gonna do one last flip through of this sticker book. Maybe, I was thinking maybe we could add one of these. But I'd have that strange just so we have that little bit of gold right there right And I know those are very close in color, but it's okay. I'm not too bothered because I don't want to pull that up and change it out. So we will leave it as is, but maybe, I know, I'm so indecisive. I'm sorry, you guys. Maybe just to break that up a little bit. All right, and I don't wanna use that. I think we should almost be good to go. There's no other pieces that have gold. So, There is this, but no. Oh, there is this. Strength is what we gain from the madness we survive. I was actually looking at that earlier. Um, this is about progress, progress. 
There's this reset, realign, reclaim, reignite. But I think we're good. I think that's it. I think I should just leave that alone. And let's let's see what it looks like now on the discs because I feel this video has just taken a lot of time. And I'm sure you are ready to be done with it if you haven't fast forwarded already. So there it is. Okay, so that is my spread in my wellness planner for the week of December 27 to January 2, 2022. Can you believe it? I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider liking it and perhaps even subscribing to see more videos like this. And I hope to see you next time. So remember, keep living wildly free and happy planning. Bye.